book that came with this wonderful toy set called Sam and the Great Bell. Who are the who are the engines on here? Who's this? This is Ted Machine. That's Sam. That's uh, Percy. That's right, that's Percy. Very this good. Percy made that. Yeah, let's read this here. It says, everyone on the island of Sodor was planning a special celebration to honor the railway. Engines had come from far and wide to help the Sodor Museum prepare a great exhibit. Sam, a large steam engine, came from far away, from a far away land to help. He was bigger than any engine in Sodor. Look at this, JJ. Here's Sam, and here's Percy. Which one is bigger? Sam, a large steam engine, came from a faraway land to help. He was bigger than any engine on Sodor and also very strong. Engines and workers prepared for the exhibit grand opening by building a great archway as entrance for both people and engines. Thomas and Percy had a very important had very important jobs. They needed to help Sam find his way around Sodor and collect materials for the archway. Oh, so the 70th anniversary, the 70th anniversary is for the island of Sodor. Or the railway. It must be for the railway. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Okay. Thomas told the other engines all the materials they needed to collect. I don't know, Thomas, peeped Percy. How will we get it all done on time? Thomas knew Percy was right, but he didn't want their new friend Sam to think they weren't really useful. We'll split up, said Thomas. Sam and I will collect a stone from the quarry and the tracks from the steamworks. Percy, you go to the lumber yard and collect the wooden sleepers, then pick up the bell from the ironworks. Okay, JJ, so where's the cargo car? If I'm sure you can manage the little bell, Percy. You can count on me, Thomas, Percy Pete. The engines arranged to meet back at the water tower, whistled goodbye, and went their separate ways. On the way back down from the quarry, Sam pulled the heavy cars of stone and told Thomas about all the amazing adventures he had had on the Virginian Railway. Sam then collected the very heavy flatbed full of tracks from the steamworks Thomas was amazed by how much cargo Sam could pull. When Sam and Thomas arrived back at the water tower, there was no sign of Percy. Uh-oh. Two engines set off in search of Percy. When they arrived at the ironworks, they asked Airy and Bert, but no one had seen Percy. Then they heard a faint whistle. Over here, Thomas, cried Sam. Sorry, Thomas, peeped Percy. I tried to pull the bell, but it was too heavy, and I got stuck in this canyon. Oh, no. Leave this to me, Thomas, Sam said proudly. I will rescue Percy and the bell. The engine crew released the chains from the flatbed, then attached one end to Sam and the other end to Percy. After Sam pulled Percy to safety, the chain was sent back down and attached to the bell. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Sam heaved with all his might and pulled the bell up. Back at the museum, it was getting dark. Where could the engines be? Sir Topham Hatt wondered. Then from the dark, he heard three distant whistles. Thomas, Sam, and Percy finally returned to the museum. Everyone worked hard through the night. The bell was cleaned and polished, and Percy was checked over and given a wash down. Even Rocky the Crane was there to help lift the bell. He lifted it as far as he could, but the bell was too heavy. The bell fell from Rocky's hook and nearly landed on Percy. Oh, no. Thomas called Sir Topham Hatt. Please, sir, there is only one engine strong enough to lift the bell, and that's my new friend Sam. Cables were attached to Sam and the bell. With all his strength, Sam pulled the bell up high. When it was finished, secured in, when it was finally secured in place, the engines and crowd cheered with delight. So, actually, it was Sam. So, look. Sam, watch this. watch this, watch this, Sam brings the bell, hey, watch, watch this, it was Sam who had to bring the bell, 
Yep. No, Percy, Percy brought the bell here. And then watch this. Ready? Watch this. Here we go. We move the bell into position. Pick up the bell and lift the bell. Ta-da! The bell is in position. Ding, ding. Yeah, so Sam helped. As the morning sun came up, the bell glimmered and chimed over the great entrance of the museum. To show appreciation for his hard work, Sam was given the honor of leading the first visitors into the museum. It was true it was truly a celebration no one would ever forget. The bell.